What is up guys? Welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to take you guys to MBK Center, one of Bangkok's largest fake markets. So in there you can find fake shoes, clothes, electronics. I've been there quite a few times but I've never recorded it. So now I'm going to take you guys with me while we're still here in Bangkok because I will be leaving Bangkok soon in like two days to go to Chiang Mai. So we'll spend another month in Chiang Mai. But first I have to do a visa run. So literally tomorrow I'm going to go to Malaysia by train because I've never been on a, a sleeper train. So we're gonna do that, maybe stay in Malaysia for like two days, vlog there. Then from there, we'll go to Chiang Mai. And in Chiang Mai, I will explore for a month and take you with me. But here we go. And I'm actually staying in another hostel right in the middle of Bangkok. Actually a perfect location to be in. So I'll kind of show you guys some of the hostel in case you guys are interested in staying there. So far, I just got there, just checked in. Seems like a very nice place. Love the color in there and the, like the ambiance, the uh, aesthetic of it. But anyway, let's go. Can anyone who lives in Thailand, who lives in Bangkok, tell me what are the rules for motorbikes? Because I feel like motorbike riders do whatever they want to do. I see them riding on sidewalks, running lights. I really don't, I have no clue. Like, is there any rules for motorbike people or can they just do what they want? Because that's what it seems like, I'm going to be honest. well or one i haven't had any food yet so if on the way to this mbk center i find some street food that looks appetizing i'm gonna have to grab a bite to eat or maybe a smoothie i haven't had a smoothie in like over a week which is different because i typically have a smoothie every day or kind of like one every two days i'm addicted they're so good and they're cheap all right guys so here we go i already found a smoothie shop right here what kind do i want today pineapple smoothie coconut smoothie my two favorite smoothies are watermelon and coconut. Sawadika. Example right there. Like what? What is the rules, guys? I don't know what the rules are. All right, coconut smoothie secured for 40 baht, which 40 baht is about $1.14 US. Can't beat it, can't beat it. This smoothie is like, this is something I've never literally had before coming here. And it is, it's coconut. It's like they use sweetened condensed milk and ice, maybe something else, but man, if you ever get a chance to have a coconut smoothie, have one because this was not something that was in my mind at all before coming here along with the watermelon smoothie, something I've never had before. One of the popular things in Bangkok is massages. You'll find massage parlors everywhere. You guys can see that one hour massage, traditional massage, 220 baht. I'll put the conversion for that on the screen if you guys want it. And I think, all right, I just gotta walk. I like what Bangkok does as far as even though it's a lot of buildings, a very busy downtown, I like how a lot of places you'll still find trees on top of hotels and different buildings and whatnot. So it still has like a natural feel to it. One thing I've noticed since I've been here in my two months, a little bit over two months time is that Thailand seems like a country of you know, hardworking people. Every day people wake up, you know, and they get to their hustle, whether it's, you know, just a little cart on the side of the street selling pad thai or selling some type of kebab, whatever. You know, everyone is just trying to make a living and honest living out here. And that's very respectable. Like any world, there are some places you go to and you will see um, poverty and homelessness. And for a while, I really didn't see much of that in Bangkok. 
until I went to the call sign area. And that's where probably where I witnessed the most amount of like homelessness was in that area. All right guys, so we were right by the MBK Center. It's right across here. There's like three, four different malls all kind of like connected or not connected, but all in walking distance. So close by here, you have the MBK Center. You have CM or SIM Discovery. I think I might be saying it wrong. It's either CM or SIM. Then there's Central World not far from here. I believe there's one other mall. So all the shopping you could want in this area. And all the malls are conveniently located right by the BTS system. So easy to get here by BTS. And then it comes pretty much right off the exit. Five minute walking, boom, you're at MBK Center. Alright guys, so we are inside of the MBK Center. I believe on the third floor. Yes, third floor right now. A lot of jewelry shops in this mall. If that's something you're looking for, you can find it here. Another thing you'll find in MBK Center is a ton of suit shops. There are a ton of suit shops here. And listen, they will try to sell you a suit. I mean, they'll try to sell you anything here. They're going to have if they get the chance to. If you do buy anything, be sure to negotiate. Never just go for the first price. Thailand is one of those countries. Huh? Can't vlog? Okay, thank you. So I've just been informed I'm actually not allowed to record in the mall, but I'm gonna try to be more discreet and sneak you guys some footage. But right now we're in the first floor, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things I have down here. But I'm gonna take my phone off the tripod so it doesn't look as obvious. All right, guys, so we got this food court. That's some nice. You guys can see all types of different food over here. Look at that. So this isn't even in the main food court. This is just the downstairs area. They have a, a grocery store in here, a little small market. And we come this way. And we got more stores. I feel like if I record how I'm recording my phone, and hopefully that no one will stop me from doing this. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try not to get, get caught and get thrown at the mall. <laughs> if you like cheesecake, this place has good cheesecake. I had that one right there, this lemon cheese, top notch. So if you guys like cheesecake, definitely get that flavor. That one looks good too. Or chocolate, I don't know about chocolate. If they have a regular, this one, blueberry. These two are probably the best ones. I might have to stop and get me another slice of lemon cheese, one favorite kind. So the downstairs has quite a few different restaurants and dining options. Yeah. To save money, I do not recommend eating at the mall because as you guys seen, those prices for that kind of like street food was way more pricey than you would pay eating somewhere outside the mall. Like the prices are nearly like quadruple. Typically for fried rice and stuff, you'll pay like 40, 50 baht. Here it's 150 baht, 200 baht. So if you want to save money, just a little tip, don't eat here. So still on the first floor, you guys can see quite a few shops. Another thing I learned is a lot of these shops, you'll see the same, they're kind of repetitive. Purses, shoes places, suits places, sneakers, luggage. A lot of them are owned by the same person or the same like company. They're just multiple locations all throughout the mall. So if you think you're like getting a deal at one place, chances are you're probably not because it's probably the same owner some luggage myself so I should look into that somebody smells good all right up the elevator we go <laughs> all right we're on the second floor you got the hot pot buffets there's quite a few of those in here you guys like the hot pot also I love them at Central World I have a Central World vlog that I haven't um, edited it yet I recorded it probably over a month ago now I just never posted it 
but we got some jewelry options once again the guy just tried to stop me and sell me a rolex i'm not interested in wearing a fake rolex if i'm gonna wear something i'd rather just get like a no-name brand watch than wear a fake rolex because then now people are questioning if it's real or not so more luggage stuff like that like i said guys it gets repetitive so they're probably the same owner but once again never come in here and pay the first price whatever you see negotiate they will come down trust me all right, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the different rep stores. I think this place has like high quality reps supposedly. So this one is gonna be more than most of the other sneaker shops you guys see. You guys can see that. Hello there. So we got suit shop. There's probably 50. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but there's so many suit shops in here, especially once we get to the fourth floor. Here's another stand where you'll find like different um, sneakers and stuff like that. We got a Dunkin' Donuts right here. All right, guys. So we're back on the third floor. I'm going to attempt not to get caught recording, but it's going to be kind of hard. All these bags you see, guys, fake. Everything is fake. There might be a couple real stores in here, but I'm pretty sure most of the things in here is fake. This candle place and fragrances smells amazing. I'm not even gonna lie, it smells amazing. We got here some tea. Hello, is it? Rose and Roselle. And what does it do? It uh sleeps well. Okay. Rose and Roselle. Find this tea. What's up, man? Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're entering the area of the mall where you'll find a lot of clothing vendors <laughs> and fake shoes. So quite a few different stands over here. More stands, fake Nikes. They say they have good quality and bad quality Nikes. Sorry if the footage isn't the best because I'm trying not to get kicked up the mall for recording since I'm not allowed to record in here. <laughs> All right, so you guys can see more Nikes. These are actually pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like these designs. The guy told me 1,500 for the shoes I just picked up. So that would be like, I think $40. Let me look at the conversion. So 1,005, but if I was to buy them, I would probably offer like maybe 1,002, 1,003. Negotiate, see if I can get a couple bucks off. They would probably go for it to be honest. It's not worth losing the sale over a couple dollars. And here you guys go, got the suit shops. You guys can get custom suits here for like a hundred dollars. So that's not bad. Um, I'm not sure about the quality and material of the suits, but you know, custom suit for a hundred bucks. Can't really beat it. We got some more sneaker stands. See the Jordans, the horses, the dunks. Yo, these are clean, man. I mess with that color. Guys, leave a comment if you would wear, if you would buy a pair of these knockoff sneakers. Honestly, I probably would for 40 bucks and wear them out when you go out to, to like the bar, to the club, because you know people are gonna step on your shoes. So just wear some fake shoes. No one's gonna know if you're out and they're perfect for getting dirty and stuff like that. You won't really care because they were cheap, gang. All right, guys, here we are on the fifth, the fourth floor. This floor has all the electronics you would want to find, knockoff iPhones, recording equipment. Matter of fact, I got my microphone, my wireless mic I'm using right now. I bought it from here and actually got a pretty good deal on it because this microphone is pretty good. I think I paid a total of like $60 um, for this wireless mic. And I had bought another one here before, but it was very crap. Like it was, a, it was a crap microphone, so I couldn't even use it. I wouldn't, you know, want you guys to have that bad of an audio. So you guys can find a bunch of stuff on this floor. You do got some real stores, like this Samson store is real. And in this store, 
you guys can find um, your uh, SIM cards here, gimbals, pretty much any electronic really you can find on the fifth, the fourth floor at ABK Center. But I wouldn't buy any like iPhones or anything from these little side stands because they probably are fake. The Apple headphones. You got iPhones and iPads. Got some mini drones. Cool. Smart watches. Uh, this is another legit retailer. So when you see these type of stores, either these are the legit retailers. So anything you buy from here is gonna be real and you can probably also get a refund for it too. But most of the stores in the outskirts and whatnot are fake. Another like this is another real store, so you'll find real stuff here. I have no idea. Someone tell me what these are. I don't have no any clue. What are these? Fifth floor, guys. We got some more dining options. You guys can see there's a barber shop right here. I think we're close to the. All right. I think we're close to the street food. I'm trying to find the street food area. Is it up this way? Sixth floor. Okay. Uh, I think we found it. All right, guys, here we go on the sixth floor, and this is where you'll find the MBK, like, street food, kind of like food court. Quite a few different restaurants in this area to choose from. This story, the last time I was at this food court, I was here with this, um, this girl I had met. And once we, like, once she finished up her shopping, we came here and got some food. While we're sitting down eating, a rat literally fell from the ceiling. And I don't know where it went. It was so crazy. We were just both just like, um, okay. Yeah. Probably not the thing you want to see while you're eating, but it happens. It's a lot of rats around Thailand, or specifically Bangkok, because all the trash and whatnot. It's crazy. Yeah, hello. to support the channel and buy me gear like a GoPro or a drone hey I would love you the ultimate Christmas gift or a camera I'm just throwing ideas out there if anybody's feeling very generous who watches this channel I need a new camera what we got here this is a ZV Sony ZV1 17 all right I had this camera before I need to get it again because this is actually like this when my old vlogs were with this camera so I want that camera that's not bad soon so if you guys want to donate a camera to the channel i would really love you not gonna lie other than going to temples and malls i really don't know what to do during the day in bangkok i've been to all the malls multiple times and um i kind of run out of ideas here bro you good bro you good bro you good all right i don't think he's good i'm gonna leave him alone he was kind of staring at me weird. Here is another mall across from here. Look at this, it's made out of recycled bottle caps. This is made out of cups. That's pretty cool. Let's see, oh, and this one is made out of, they're all recycled stuff. This is so cool. So cups, this is CDs. This one is old electronics. So, that's so creative. And over here, this looks like water jugs. Way to go, Thailand. That's pretty cool. Yo, I'm out here walking in Bangkok. I met, ran into one of the uh, people who subscribed to me, my man Rob. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, man, I'm one of the subscribers, man. I was looking at his channel the other day, and I'm walking. I'm like, I ain't never seen that. Before. I'm walking in there. I'm like, 
Oh shit. Cause like, we, you know, being, that. now you good, you good. Being black in Thailand, so when you see other like brothers, you know, you pretty much, we kind of stop and be like, hey, what's up? Thanks. So we about to walk by and he like said, he recognized me and said, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. Yeah, man, cause like sometimes you, you, you see a black person and they ain't from the state. So, you know, you give them the salute. They probably yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 def that's definitely happened. It's happened to me multiple times where like, you kind of gauge it, you try to look and see how they, and then sometimes you don't get it back. But it's always good when you do like, all right, bet, that's my family right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So he, you vlog too. What's your channel yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. So it's just late. It's called Elated Travels. I, I got like 12, 13 videos up. Yeah. Hey, if you like his stuff, you definitely like my stuff. We can share, That's what's man. Up, we can man. share. Can That's what's up. all about. Hey, how you liking Thailand so far, though? It's cool, man. Cool. I love the culture. You know, like this is one of the safest places I ever been. Like uh, I was down in Pattaya for a little while, and you know, you walk around at night and stuff like that, and you ain't looking over your shoulder. People aren't tucking their, their purse and stuff. People actually don't care that you're black. That's the art. Right, that's one of the biggest things I recognize when I came here. People like, cause when you, when you're in the U.S., people like wonder is everywhere else safe? Even though the U.S. isn't that safe. But when I came to Thailand, I was like, I felt so comfortable here. You don't feel, yeah, exactly what you said. You don't feel like you're black. You just, you just a foreigner to them, and they don't care. They're not looking at you like, oh, they don't have those stereotypes. So you can walk out like 4 a.m. You're not looking over your shoulder. But nah, it's been smooth. I've also enjoyed Patia. Uh, have you been to Phuket yet? I haven't been to Phuket. Me neither. So that's yeah, I got I got to Phuket. Right, um, right, we can do a joint video. <laughs> we can go down there. Yeah, I need to go to Phuket. I'm also I need to go to Chiang Mai as well. So I, okay. but between those both both of those are where I'm headed to. But yeah, it's always good to run into people when you're out here in, uh, out here in Thailand somewhere you know unfamiliar. Yeah, man, it's good seeing a brother doing big things out here, man. Hey, try it. Try it. Guy, he gonna blow up. We need a, we need a million. We need a million subscribers. Hey, we try to work our way up there. <laughs> it's crazy. You never know who you run into out here in Thailand. And it's always good to meet another brother. It's so random. Like I'm just out here. Like I randomly decided today to, to, you know, record, do a video about MBK Center, and then the route I took back was also random. And so I just happened to run into him, and that was crazy. We walked by. We like, you know what I'm saying? It's always you got. When you see your brother, you got to give him the, the universal head nod. All right. Next up, before I get back to the hostel, I want to try to find some street food because I am hungry. I still haven't eaten today. Besides. That coconut smoothie I had, which that doesn't count as eating, right? It's a drink. I thought I was in Thailand. This says New York. Did I just transport? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm actually... Thank you. Oh wait, I'm still in Thailand. That was a little bit confusing. What just happened there? All right, I'm really hoping I'll find some street food soon because I'm just walking. I didn't, I'm not using Google or anything. I'm literally just walking around the neighborhood because I like to get lost. Not technically, I don't want to get lost out here in Thailand, but you guys get what I'm saying. I like to get lost knowing I have a GPS to find back home. So I don't use a GPS, I just want to experience the neighborhood for myself. But um, yeah, we're going to see if we can find something pretty soon. I'm used to seeing little stands everywhere, but I'm not seeing anything. So maybe this isn't really a busy area for street food. But maybe we'll get lucky soon. I'm believing that we'll get lucky very soon. I don't find food soon, I'm gonna run out of energy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm good. I'm good, how are you? I'm, <laughs> I'm just walking. Let's see if we can find something. Uh oh, we found some chicken. Yeah, I know I love Thai fried chicken. We got fried chicken, sticky rice. What else do we have? <laughs> oh, what she got? Uh, chicken, fried rice. How much? Seventy baht. Seventy baht. Yeah. Okay, one. Huh? One. Yes. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so we got our fried rice. Now we just look for something else to have with it. I know that's probably not gonna fill me up. I would get the fried chicken, but I need a little more to eat. I'm gonna walk for a little bit more and see if we can find something. Maybe some stewed chicken noodle soup. How much is uh, stewed chicken noodle soup? 60 baht. 60 baht? Um, can I have that? One. And here we got parts of the feet. Interesting. <laughs> so we have the fried rice that we paid only 70 baht for. Let's open it up and get a nice look at that. So we got some nice fried rice. And then as I walk a little bit longer, a couple more feet, seen another stand and now we're gonna have some stewed chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna add a little bit of this for some spice. A lot of people here in the comments have asked me like when you guys see me eating rice and you see me eating with a fork, it is because I grew up in the U.S. and that is what we do in the U.S. is for some reason we use forks. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right guys, so we got this nice stewed chicken noodle soup. Oh man, it looks delicious. I'm excited to jump into it. But the reason why I use a uh, a fork instead of a spoon is because that's just what I grew up using now. Now that I've been here, I, I understand that using a spoon makes a lot more sense. And when I go back to the U.S. eventually, I will probably only eat rice with a spoon now because I don't know why I've spent my whole life using a fork where it falls off. A spoon is way more convenient than using a fork. So now you guys know why. That's fish sauce. I don't know what this is. Ah, chili sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit to the rice. Let's taste it with the chili. Mm, pretty good. And for 70 baht, this is a pretty good portion. <coughs> Typically, depending on where you're at, fried rice might range from anywhere from 40 baht on up. If you guys are in a real touristy area, then like you seen at the MBK Center earlier, you're gonna be paying like 200 baht for the same thing, which doesn't make any sense. So, you know, if you wanna save money, like I said before, avoid eating in those touristy areas because you'll save a lot of money. All right, so now we're gonna go in for our, let's see if I can get a good angle without spilling it. Yeah. Our stewed chicken noodle soup. Now, if you guys see me not using chopsticks the best way, I'm still learning, so cut me a break. But let's try the chicken first. I'm struggling. I'm not doing the good, that good right now. Okay, that's really good, but it's hot. Super hot right now. I'm gonna let it cool off a little more. I'm gonna add some more of this, like, I think this is basil or some type of leaf. I think it's basil. Mm. The juices. The chicken just sitting in that juices. That's pretty good. everywhere when I go for a nice little slurp. The chicken noodle soup, the stewed chicken noodle soup gets a thumbs up for me. The flavors are good. I love the texture of the noodle and the chicken just sitting in this juice, you know, just soaking in all that flavor. Let's get a nice little bite of this chicken real quick. It's super tender so it falls right off the bone. <laughs> 